Some celebrities out there believe that they are above the law, that they can get away with anything simply because they are famous. Well, that's not usually how it goes. Although there have been celebrities that have got away with some stuff, but that's a completely different video. Today, let's take a look at celebrities who got caught red-handed shoplifting. Starting off this countdown, we have Amy Schumer. Apparently, Amy Schumer was a huge shoplifter back in the day. She told GQ magazine that she has stole up to $100,000 worth of stuff. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be going around talking about that kind of thing. Anyways, she claimed that she started stealing with her friends. They started by stealing bathing suits and makeup. Then when she got to college, it got worse. She said, and I quote, it became grand larceny when I was in college. I just discovered this department store where you could just take whatever and then return it for cash. No tags, no receipt, nothing. You know, thousands of dollars. It was exciting. It was the adrenaline, the actual act of getting away with it. It wasn't about the money, even though the money was nice. And I didn't feel bad about it. It was this huge corporation. I never stole from people. I never stole from a little store. She continued on saying that she finally stopped when she was 21. That's when she got caught stealing from Bloomingdale's. That incident horrified her. She said that it was so embarrassing to get arrested that she never wanted to steal again. Moving on to number nine, we have Lindsay Lohan. In 2011, Lindsay Lohan was on a streak of bad behavior. She was already on probation for a DUI incident when she decided to shoplift. She was shopping at a California boutique when she put on a $2,500 necklace and walked out with it on. Obviously, she was caught. She pleaded no contest to misdemeanor theft and was sentenced to 120 days in jail, plus community service, plus she got fined. But after about a month in jail, she was released because of overcrowding. So instead, she was placed under house arrest. In 2014, her probation was dropped as long as she was to continue counseling and to complete her community service. But this isn't the only time she was caught stealing. She has also been accused of stealing an $11,000 mink coat in 2008 and a $35,000 Rolex. Coming in at number eight, we have Claude Allen. Claude Allen was actually the former advisor to President George W. Bush. In 2006, however, he was caught stealing $5,000 worth of products from Target. His plan was to steal the products, then return them to get the refund money. But that didn't work in his favor. Now, originally he denied the charges. However, he later did plead guilty. As a result, he was sentenced to two years of probation, 40 hours of community service, and a $500 fine. He was also ordered to pay $850 directly to Target. In our seventh spot, we have the UCLA basketball team. In 2017, three team members from the UCLA basketball team, Lee Angelo Ball, Cody Riley, and Jalen Hill were arrested and jailed in China after stealing multiple items from three stores. One of the stores being Louis Vuitton, one of the items stolen was a pair of sunglasses. The men were ordered to stay in their hotel until the whole situation was cleared up. In the end, they pled guilty to shoplifting and actually President Trump had to get involved and talk to the Chinese government apologizing on behalf of the players. It actually worked though and it prevented them from facing 10 years of jail time. As a result of their actions, these three players were suspended indefinitely. In our sixth spot, we have Megan Fox. Before Megan Fox was even Megan Fox, she was actually a Walmart stealer. In fact, Walmart banned her over the incident. So Megan revealed that when she was about 14 or 15, she stole a $7 tube of lip gloss at a Walmart store in Florida. To be fair, it was from the Mary Kay Ashley Olsen cosmetic line and I always wanted some when I was a kid, okay? In an interview with a reporter, she said, that they took her to court and gave her two choices. She decided to take the second choice, which was wrapping gifts for Christmas, which to her, she found awesome and said it wasn't really a punishment. The other punishment was to stand outside Walmart for three days holding a sign saying, I stole from Walmart. Yeah, I'd pick the gift wrapping punishment too. It's not even a punishment. Except for those paper cuts, that's a punishment. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Kim Kardashian and Nicole Richie. Now, I'm putting them together on today's list because the pair actually stole together. Together. According to Kim, when her and Nicole were around 11 years old, they went to a drugstore in Malibu and stole some lipsticks. She said, and I quote, we thought we were so bad at I can't remember the name of the color, but it was a brown shade from Revlon. I wasn't much of a partier growing up, so this was about as rebellious as I got. However, when Nicole was asked about this incident, she said that she didn't remember stealing any lipstick. 
So I don't know what to believe here. In our fourth spot, we have Kim Richards. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kim Richards got busted big time trying to steal from Target. She tried to get out of the store with not just one cart full of stuff, but two carts full. So apparently she took some reusable bags and started loading the stuff into the bags. Then she took it to the express line, but she left without paying for the items and tried to leave the store. When the clerk tried to stop her, she said that the items had already been paid for. She managed to get three feet out of the store before she was busted. Cops were then called and she was arrested for theft. Among the stuff she stole were toys and beauty products. The total amount of items stolen totaled up to $600. In our third spot today, we have Amanda Bynes. In 2014, Amanda Bynes was caught shoplifting after walking out of Barney's New York wearing a $200 hat that she hadn't paid for. However, Bynes argued that it was all just a misunderstanding and that she had planned to actually pay for this hat. She just forgot that she was wearing it. She said that fans were swarming her, so she raced out of the store to get away from them. This happened around the same time that she was getting in trouble for other things though. However, Amanda and the police came to an agreement. She wasn't charged as long as she agreed to never return to the store again. She actually signed an agreement stating this and everything. Moving on to number two, we have Farrah Fawcett. In the 1970s, American actress Farrah Fawcett was arrested twice for shoplifting clothing from two different boutiques. I guess she didn't learn her lesson the first time because she went to go shoplift some more from another boutique. But Fawcett argued that she was trying to exchange clothes that she had previously bought, but they wouldn't let her, so she decided to take the law into her own hands and exchange the clothes herself. And in our number one spot today, we have Winona Ryder. In 2001, Winona Ryder was arrested for stealing $5,500 worth of clothes and accessories from Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills. As a result, she was part of a week-long shoplifting trial in 2002, which ended in her being declared declared as guilty on the charges of grand theft and vandalism. However, she was not found guilty of commercial burglary, which would have required proof that she entered the store intending to steal. But Winona argued that the theft was just a way for her to get into character for an upcoming role. But that didn't work in her favor as she didn't work in Hollywood again until around 2006. In 2013, she opened up about this and here's what she had to say. And I quote, I was starting to have some trouble before that. I think a lot of people think that this is what sort of set me off in another direction. But I was actually starting to have some trouble a few years before. In a weird way, it was almost like the best thing that could have happened because I never I've never asked myself the question before of, is it okay if I'm not going to act? Is there anything else? Because that was all I really knew. Winona received three years probation, plus community service and drug and psychological counseling as a result. All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you wanna see part two, let me know in the comments below. Do you know of any celebrities that have shoplifted before? Uh, let me know, maybe I'll feature them in the next part. With that being said, while you're down there, hit that like button and obviously subscribe to our channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Bye. She was shopping at a California boutique when she put on a 2500 Netflix and walked out with it. Did I say Netflix? <laughs> nice. She pleaded no contest to Miss Deneener. Miss Deneener. <laughs> she pleaded no contest to Miss De I know. <laughs> she pleaded no contest to Miss Demeanor. Miss. De Misdemeanor, misdemeanor. Ricky? No, it's Richie. I'm so stupid.